in the last two lectures we have completed nand as universal gate in this lecture we will do the same thing for nor gate we already know there are two universal gates nand and nor and we call them universal gate because we can implement any digital system by using any one of them and to prove this we have to implement basic gates and or and not these three are the basic gates and we have to implement them we have to implement and gate or gate and not gate by using nand or nor we have already completed this part we have implemented the basic gates by using the nand gate in the last two presentations in this lecture we will implement them by using the nor gate and if we can implement them by using the nor gate we can say that nor is universal gate so we will quickly move to the implementation part first i will implement first i will implement not gate by using the nor gate if we have to input nor gate then output y is equal to a or b and its whole complement because nor gate is obtained by complementing the output of or gate and in case of or gate output is equal to a or b and when you complement this you will get a or b and its whole complement and if we have two similar inputs then output y is equal to a or a and its whole complement this is the first input this is the second input and finally we will have a complement so nor gate will operate as not gate if we provide the same inputs to the gate so we'll quickly implement it first i will make two input nor gate a is the first input y is the output and the second input is also a so output y is equal to a complement so this is the implementation of not gate by using the nor gate now we will implement now we will implement or gate by using the nor gate and as i have already told you we obtain nor gate by complementing the output of or gate if this is or gate if this box represents the or gate to input or gate and if we complement the output of this or gate so this combination will work as nor gate and we want our or gate back so we'll again complement we will again complement the output of nor gate this is the output of nor gate so we'll again complement it to get to get the or gate this is very simple and you can easily implement this you can easily implement this first you have to make the nor gate the two inputs are a b and at the output we have to complement and uh, we'll use not gate for this purpose but as we have to use only nor gate for our implementation so instead of using the not gate we will use this arrangement so i will use another nor gate with similar inputs this will work as not gate and uh, the output y is equal to a or b its complement and complement again simplifying this by using the de morgan's law we will have a or b which is or operation so we can have or gate by using the two nor gates like this let me write this down we will use two nor gates to implement or gate and we will use one nor gate to implement not gate the next implementation is implementation of and gate and gate by using the nor gate so let's do this quickly if i have two input nor gate if i have two input nor gate with the two inputs equal to a b then the output y is equal to a or b and its whole complement if i simplify this then output y is equal to a complement and b complement we have done this by using the de morgan's law and if we want to have the and gate by using the nor gate what we can do we can complement this a complement and we can complement this b complement let's do this complementing a complement we have a and complementing b complement we have b 
So we have A and B, the AND operation, if we complement the two inputs of NOR gate. So we'll do this quickly. We will complement the two inputs. And again, I will use this arrangement here, this arrangement here, because we are implementing the gates by using the NOR gate only. First, I will complement A. So let's make one NOR gate here. And the two inputs to this NOR gate are A. So here we will have a complement, right? Then I will complement B. And the two inputs are B. So here we will have B complement. Let's check what we have as the output of this combination. The output Y is equal to A complement or B complement and its whole complement. By using the De Morgan's law, we have A complement, its complement and B complement, its complement. And this will give us A and B, which is the AND operation. So this is how we obtain the AND gate by using the three NOR gates. So we require three NOR gates to implement the AND gate. And you can see we have implemented the three basic gates and or and not so we can say that nor is universal gate we can implement any digital system by using the nor gate only now we will implement the nand gate we will implement the nand gate and it's very simple because nand gate is obtained by complementing the output of and gate we have already implemented the and gate like this so we only have to complement the output of this arrangement. First we will complement the input A. Then we will complement the input B. And the output of this NOR gate and this NOR gate will act as the input of this NOR gate okay so this is our AND gate and now we have to complement the output so for this we'll again use the NOR gate with common inputs here we have A and B and its whole complement because we have already proved output of this arrangement is A and B from here you can see and if we complement this we will get a and b and its whole complement so we need one two three four four nor gates four nor gates to implement the nand gate the next implementation is implementation of x nor gate i'm not going to explain this much because we have already done this for x or gate by using by using NAND gate only in the last presentation we have already completed this so I will simply make the circuit and uh, we will check whether it is working as XNOR or not and if you want the detailed discussion on it then uh, you can see the last presentation how we implemented XOR by using the NAND gate you have to follow the same steps so first I will make the circuit and then we will check for the output four NOR gates are required to implement X NOR gate and if you remember the last presentation four NAND gates were required to implement the XOR gate and this implementation is very important A and B are the two inputs. So this is how you can have X NOR gate by using the four, four NOR gates. Now we will try to prove the output Y is equal to A and B or A complement and B complement which is 
a x nor b first we will find out output of this nor gate we have a or b and its whole complement now we will find output of this nor gate we have a or a or b and then complement of all similarly here we will have b or a or b its complement and then complement of all now you have to simplify this so we'll do this quickly by using the de morgan's law a complement a complement and a or b and here we'll have b complement and a or b you can open this or you can simply move to find out the output of this final nor gate so i will find out the output of this final nor gate without simplifying them them further so we have a complement and a or b or b complement and a or b and then complement of all again we will use de morgan's law and this will give us a complement and a or b complement of all and b complement and a or b and complement of all again we will use de morgan's law a or a or b and its complement and and b or a or b and its whole complement right now we can take we can take a or b its whole complement as common so we will have a and b or a or b and its whole complement finally we will have a and b or a complement and b complement and this is equal to a x nor b so we can say that this arrangement with four nor gates is working as x nor gate and if you want to implement if you want to implement x or gate by using the nor gate then you have to complement the output of this arrangement so we'll quickly copy this arrangement i will copy this and then we'll paste it and the output of this arrangement we have to complement we have to complement the output and the output y here let's say it is y prime is equal to a x or b so by using five nor gates by using five nor gates we can implement x or gate this is very much similar to the last presentation we have done this for xor and xnor by using the nand gate and in this lecture we have done this for nor gate i think it is clear to you how to implement all the other gates by using the nand and nor and to make these things more concrete in your head i will give you two homework problems in first homework problem you have to find out number of two input nor gates nor gates required to implement the function y which is equal to a complement or b and c complement or d this is what you have to do you have to find out number of two input nor gates required to implement this function in second homework problem you have to find number of two input nor gates required to implement the function f which is equal to a and b or c and d complement so this is all for this lecture see you in the next one